Certain fish, shrimp, and crabs all need heaters. But do crayfish need heaters? Well, the answer might surprise you, and it's a lot more complicated than you think. I'm sure right now most of you are thinking about the breed of crayfish, and you are right to some degree. The actual breed of your crayfish does make a difference when determining if you need a heater. For example, if your crayfish is native or used to hot environments and you live in a cold place, then they will probably need a heater, and it goes the same way for crayfish from colder environments. But there is something you probably haven't thought about. Hot and cold water can literally decide a crayfish's metabolism, size, and lifespan. It sounds crazy, but the temperature of your tank can actually change your crayfish's size, lifespan, and everything. It can be more prominent in some species and individuals, while others can be like barely affected, but it is something very important that you should keep in your mind. Like, hot water will make your crayfish go bigger and faster, but it should have a slightly shorter lifespan as its metabolism is, um, race like higher now i know what you're thinking and before you spam the comments saying how crazy this is just look at the reasoning like many other ectothermic or cold-blooded organisms crayfish metabolic rates are influenced by temperature warmer temperatures generally lead to increased metabolic activity which can enhance growth rates this is because chemical reactions in their body including those involved in growth processes occur more rapidly at high temperatures and this is the opposite for cold water but before you start the kettle or open the freezer remember that boiling and freezing water is not good for your crayfish and it will definitely kill them so don't actually put super hot or cold water in your tank it's obviously not good for your crayfish and even if it's like a smidgen too hot like even for the metabolic rate and everything your crayfish will probably die of stress so you're probably wondering what this means for you well the first step would be what i did in the video first you would have to look at what kind of breed your crayfish is see what your particular crayfish likes and what it's comfortable with keep that in mind and then if you want to have your tank a little bit hotter or a little bit colder because maybe you want to slow your crayfish's aging or um, make it go faster either one or you can just keep it the usual temperature and try to avoid messing with its metabolic rates which is what i do because i don't like my crayfish um i don't like mucking around with that so if you want to just keep a normal temperature you can you can do that it's fine just keep in mind if you're using colder or hotter water it will affect your crayfish so the average temperature i would recommend for a crayfish like mine it, like i obviously live in australia so i have like um the australian dam yabby which is the most common crayfish pretty much the best temperature that i recommend for a dam yabby um, or if you have anything similar to that something that lives in australia in that sort of um, areas would be 18 to 25 degrees which is my recommendation which is just the basic most average simple guess like somewhere between there and your crayfish wouldn't be boiling to death or freezing to death but then in between the 18 and um, 25 you can decide do you want it to be on close to the hotter end or the colder end and that decision is yours i, I can't tell you um to make your crayfish uh, die quicker or grow bigger or whatever that's up to you and it is a bit of an ethical decision also keep in mind that it doesn't matter for all crayfish some crayfish are more sensitive to it some crayfish are less so it just depends on your specific crayfish so what's my recommendation and final decision for me i'd probably like to have if I had to choose, it'd probably be closer to the colder side because I already live in a pretty hot place and all the crayfish here already grow pretty quickly and pretty big. So I'd prefer to actually have my crayfish a little bit closer to the colder side, just so that it, it lives for a little bit longer and feels a little bit more comfortable because it is super hot where I live. But on average, I'd probably just be somewhere between the 18 and 25, just somewhere in the middle or as close to the middle as possible. Right. Now, I hope this helped you make your decision whether you need a, a heater or you want to choose colder water or whatever. All right. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll definitely get to them. And if you have any video ideas or anything like that, also put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching to the end and please like and subscribe.